right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Simple Gear Season, season one, 1, Episode 2. two. That Simple was, Gear. Uh, yeah, Simple Gear indeed. Mm -hmm. But that, that was a quite the first episode. We had, I think, five different performances. It was like it was, musical performances. It was a hell of a thing. That was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But then we also got established and, and set up for the high school setting and mm -hmm. everything so that we can have that yep. slice of life and whatnot. Musical amidst, battle school. Right, exactly. Amidst all the battle music school. Battle music and everything. Yes. Yeah. But um, our main character has discovered her latent abilities when she went to save someone that was in a very similar situation to her. Yes, and okay. it might be tied to the unique uh, scar. You know. Yes, yes, indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. You're a wizard, Harry. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a you're a you're, gear user, Hibiki. You're, you're a relic, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But okay, now with uh, learning that there's something within uh, Hibiki. She'll have to let that sound go out yeah. and find its place in the noise of life. That's right. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. Well, okay. We got a gear yep. on uh, girls. Yep, that, that's and, right. Uh, okay, we understand mm -hmm. now the mechanics by which she was able to summon her gear at right. the point mm -hmm. when she sang. Now, it's because she sang the song that Kanade sung. Right. But specifically because it was also Kanade's relic. Right, the fragments of it that was in her next was to her heart. Her. Yep. Okay, so, cool. so no, she's not a relic. They still need relics as the mechanisms by which mm -hmm. they channel forth i would say the gear but the, the weird thing about this is that the relics are an unknown entity they're an unknown yeah. aspect of this world the people that are in the know don't know which is mm -hmm. which is a, a setup it's a foundation point for whatever they do in the future right but, mysteries but cool and too. world building and stuff that they can explore more at a later point in at time later point, yeah. cool and, and this episode, like, you know, I, I kind of did expect it to be a bit of an exposition dump because, you know, it with was. all the stuff that's happening, like, you kind of yeah. need a bit of that, right? Even if we can, you know, piece together that, ah, yes, it seems to be music that powers up these gear things. What? But, no. you know, yeah, you still need to have the characters actually yeah. say it at some point because the characters won't get it, right? Yeah, They'll exactly. be like, oh, huh? They do not have third-person omniscient perspective like we do. Yep, exactly. And they don't also have the meta knowledge of we're in an anime, y'all. Um, so you know, although one of the characters did say to uh, Hibiki, mm. hey, it's like you're 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 a character in an anime. You, you yeah. got all this stuff going on. All right, watch. <laughs> By the end of this, we'll Gurren Lagann style, like go and to to the destroy our creators, destroy our creators, and yeah, they'll they'll sing their way through the fourth wall, and then it'll go live action. And then it'll be like, haha, ha, this and then these idol groups are yep yep exactly after possessing people uh -huh. in the real world in their recording yep. studios just, to just, make music and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, the yeah, ultimate absolutely. marketing plan. This mm -hmm. entire show is this just show promotional material. Yep, yep. That's, that's all right. It was. Yep. Um but <laughs> in all seriousness, <laughs> cool. Okay, we've got we've got the the underground club basically mm -hmm. of all right, the people that are doing the thing for the main plot stuff and fighting the monsters mm -hmm. and it's at the high school. Zvi wing. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Right. So okay. Now that we know that they needed to recruit her and they mm -hmm. weren't going to um how would you do this? Yeah, th um, they'll put handcuffs on her and take her down to, they, you know, like, way underground, but... Okay, uh, so, sorry, or, I, wasn't, I oh. wasn't done. They they wanted to convince her to do this, whereas right. with a citizen that saw all this stuff down, it's like, no, sign this now. Right. There's there, a very clear difference here, and mm -hmm. it is um, it is a uh, very thin difference. Okay. Um, the point that I'm wanting to make here is that this is a military situation. Yep. And yet they didn't make it a uh, they, they didn't make it implied that she uh, was being ordered to do this. Right, because the it's the the way I kind of get the vibe from it is that it's mm -hmm. something where with a civilian, yeah, we just need you to shut the fuck up and 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 go about your daily life, citizen, right? And have a legal precedent for doing whatever we're going to do to you if you break the rules. Exactly. But in the case of this, they need her to actually, well, literally and and 
metaphorically perform. Wants to do it. Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. And the performance mm-hmm. will be better if she wants to do it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it's the mechanically, the singing won't be as good if her heart's not sure. in it or yeah. just the fact that they need her to fight. Right. Like, because so, they can't just pull the relic fragments out of her and shove them in someone else. Right. Yeah. Although, uh, although they, in mm-hmm. a weird way, that's kind of exactly what happened here. They, they, probably could do that it'd just kill her and then they just have to question whether they'd be willing to do that but that could be Mm -hmm. something that they go into later but they very much uh, carrot and stick you know hence why i brought up the handcuffs because it's like no no no. we're going to make sure that you come down here to the point where you can't really run away and then we get to talk at you and and hope to convince you but we are still actually genuinely trying to convince you it's not just all right we're gonna throw you in the robot get out there and celebration yay Yay! you're gonna become a forced member of the military everybody smile yeah something right hence hence the whole thing of the prime minister being like yeah she's old enough you know but but the fact that that That, was on national television i don't know the context for that all i just want to know is just if you ever have a politician say she's old enough that politician needs to Mm. get like hunted into space Without, you know, space gear. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, is that uh-huh. she is now an official member of this group. Yep. And she wants to do it in a way that unnerved, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, Genjiro. Yeah. Yes, which I loved because I'm it's like. I'm glad that he actually said that. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, wanting to help people, that's cool. But going to the front lines of a war zone, basically, that's, it's a, yeah. it's a bit different. It's a bit different. Either. Either she doesn't know what she's getting into. Right. Either you're a fool or you're a psycho, you yeah. know, potentially. Right? So, yeah. That, so, mm-hmm. she's definitely a fool. Absolutely. But and those are not mutually exclusive. She could be both. Indeed. Indeed. And I got to say, um, I love how we've now basically got the um, the extracurricular club activity you know, that is now at the school that they've been sort of forcibly like roped into, you know, uh-huh. our main character. Yeah. And now they're going to go do all that stuff there and whatnot. But, you know, all things considered, all things considered, all things considered, the people there seem pretty good. You know, mm-hmm. they were they, like, they were, so you get surrounded by 40 men in suits and sun, uh, class and you, know, at, you know, at midnight, but you know, well, you know, that was out in public, you know, it's, it's a uh, right. Yeah. Uh, it would have made more sense to have, you know, more people show up, you know, in public, you know. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. exactly. But, you know, they started out with the with the congratulations surprise. Congratulations, mm-hmm. congratulations. Hey, um, it happened at the beginning of the series, this one. Yep, yep, yeah, there you yeah. go, you know, so. So. Okay. T- speaking of which, we had also a, a little bit of a relationship kind of teasing thing. Oh, yeah. With the mm-hmm. uh, Miku being like, hey, Hibiki, I, uh, oh, you're asleep, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. like. Just more build up for mm-hmm. the point at which they are forever separated. Mm-hmm. Because my guess yeah. is that Hibiki doesn't actually die and stay dead. Mm. But it's that something happens to where they need to disclose to the public that Tachibana Hibiki has died so that sure. no one looks for her anymore. And yet at the same time, I feel like that's something that would have happened by now if they were going to do that you know i but i i understand why you would think that but i also think that there there's there's ways this show can go crazier than that mm-hmm. because of the relics the other thing though that we did get in that first episode is that miku was talking about how she was singing that song with blood coming out of her mouth you mm-hmm. know so yeah. okay yeah yeah like the, there's there's crazy stuff that's going to happen i like i like though that yeah like you uh, Yeah, basically that they're bringing up the idea that her wanting to help people in this much of a sacrificial way without thinking about what she's actually getting herself into. Don't you have a life? Yeah, like like that is that is a bit crazy, you know? Yeah. And given the fact that she's probably there's a good, very good chance that she's going to end up dead. I like that they're establishing now why that would happen. You know, Mm -hmm. not just that, oh, she gets into a bad situation where, you know, she does the final aria or whatever and then dies. But like this is the kind of person that she is. There's precedent for it. And the other people that see this happening are like, oh, this is, this yeah. is pretty bad. She's not psychologically prepared. She's not physically prepared. She's mm-hmm. not mentally prepared. And that's probably why Subasa is going to fight her. You know, of like, mm-hmm. y- okay. You're not ready for this. Yeah, you're not ready. So yeah. I'm either going to train you or... I'm going to show everyone that you're not ready. Right. You know, test your determination, right? You know, if you actually are interested in this, then you need to put in the work because otherwise you're just going to get yourself and maybe me killed. You are not the dragon 
you will never beat the right, dragon. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> Until you have learned the secrets of the dragon relic. But the dragon relic is inside me. Damn it, she's right. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're just cutting all the way to the to the end of Kung Fu Panda, just right here. You know, it's it's the yeah, the secret the secret is your is is in your heart. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. no it's actually, it's actually like just in your heart. We tried to get it out, but we can't. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. I I love some of the meta jokes within mm -hmm. the way they set this up in that yes, it is literally within her heart. But I also loved the way in which contrasting that this show kind of starts to take i think a little bit of the psychological serious turn through subasa's perspective which is done primarily without exposition and i really like that mm, because yeah. it hints at the fact that these characters have staying power beyond just the yes. i fulfill a function within the plot to mm -hmm. provide you know hibiki with the opportunity to do the right. do subasa has some very stark strong reactions emotional mm -hmm. ones to the stuff that she learns about hibiki and i think it's partially because there's things that they're not telling her about the fact that well why doesn't uh subasa have the relic inside her probably sure. because it's not supposed to be there yeah Mm -hmm. Probably because um, relics aren't supposed to break, maybe. Well, and maybe also, because that whole relics thing. are more than what they've been talking about. Well, you know? also, can we just bring up the fact that when they defeat the noise and when the noise kills people, it has the same disintegrating kind of effect? Mm -hmm. And then there was also that bit when they were like, oh, we ran tests. Everything seems stable. Cool. You know, everything seems good. What would have happened if it hadn't, if the tests hadn't been good? Mm -hmm. You know? Like, oh, shit, okay, yeah, now just, just put on this what? mask and go into this chamber. You're going to be fine, you know. Like, like all right, <laughs> we're going to we're gonna need to extract it from her. You know, we can't let her live. Or, you know, who knows, right? Who knows how it could go, right? It could go, it could go any which way. And given the number of things that they're seeding as kind of like mysteries and questions for the future with this mm -hmm. show, yeah. world-building-wise, yeah. I feel like there's... There's, there's that part of me that wants to just be like, hey, yeah, rule of cool, fun action show and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Don't necessarily need to think about it too much. You know, it's, it's going to be great fun, right? But but that could all just be like the the, the, the shroud, the concealing yeah. for the crazy stuff that ends the, up happening. The meta awareness we have of that there's five seasons and it's a finished series mm -hmm. allows us the, I would say, the luxury of being able to predict that things will go deeper because in some ways they have to in order to sustain the story for five seasons. Right, yeah. And Evangelion like, went for two core guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Just, I get the feeling that this won't be as episodic. Like, it could be. I think I think it will be for Portions a chunk of, of it, it, you know. I think it will be for a good chunk of it, though. Yeah. I think the main thing that they'll start doing is they'll start introducing the idea of, like, multiple other, like, like wings, essentially. If mm -hmm. Zavai Wing is just one group, yeah. what if there's a group that's literally the English group that was trying to recruit Subasa? Sure. Yep. Like they could have their own, you know, wing necessarily that's like right. specifically like a, a battle group. Mm -hmm. What if the idea of them trying to have this like extremely like militaristic kind of, you know, government setup is because they're at war but they're not working with other nations. Yeah, like maybe it's something where it's like, we don't know how the noise came about necessarily, but we suspect that there was like a government that did it, probably America, you know? And then it's <laughs> like, you know, don't yes. don't let any secrets get out, right? Each country is fighting it in their own way with their own music groups and things, you know? Yeah. Like one mm -hmm. of the other things that I thought was kind of odd with how they did the exposition this episode is when they talked about the relics. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. relics from a bygone era. Cool. All right. Yeah. Created by heretics. Heretics. Created by her. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Why? Why use the word heretics? Yeah. I understand if they're saying they were heretics back then. Yeah. But the way they said it seems more like no. We currently think of them as heretics. Yeah. Yeah. But to what? To, to what yeah. Belief. What faith? What right. God? What? Like we. Um. Excuse me. But excuse me. Like. Like. like the, if this ends up being something where it's like, all right, we get this small squad and we meet the characters and everything and it's great. But eventually, not only must we fight the noise, but we must, like, row, row, fight the power and, like, rebel against the, you know, corrupt organizations and stuff and, you know, or who knows. So the ED. Mm. I don't want to go into this now. I'm just well, kidding. Uh, yeah. I was, was going to say, I, I yeah. <laughs> wall whack with theories based on the ED. But mm. I think that what is 
being set up in a very vague way mm-hmm. and i think is one that just totally fine based on the idea of the three main characters that have used gia at this point <laughs> kanade um hibiki and subasa is that one has already passed yep one is going to pass uh-huh and subasa is reeling from all of this. yeah subasa has um has changed a lot as a person and I got to say, I love the fact that we have gotten such a growth from her this quickly. Because, well, like... Would you call it really that much change or growth? Because I think it's more just that we've seen now two sides of her. We we don't really know what's changed or grown. Um, like, the transition point was... was taken away by a time skip I, right i, I mean see, yeah you could you could I describe more, it as, more than one dimension that doesn't mean that she's well, no longer that uh, sure yeah it, totally but but like yeah i'm sure that 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 other side of her that is able to kind of like smile and just relax and have a good time and be happy and stuff still exists somewhere it's not completely dead it's just not showing right now because it's not relevant well well uh, um I would say more so than it not being relevant she's gotten you know a lot of environmental uh feedback that that's that's mm to not to not be that right and and i i really appreciate that because because i'm very curious to see how the hibiki and subasa's dynamic will go in the show moving forward because i didn't like not that i not that i didn't think there would be fun character dynamics in the show but the like i'm i'm coming into it very much like looking for like the 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 hype fun time right but the fact that we were able to see two such starkly different sides to one of the core characters this early on that makes me very curious how things are going to go moving forward like that i'm yeah I'm, my interest is peaked okay okay yeah. gotcha i i kind of i kind of i kind of don't really like get the like the oh yeah this is two different sides but you're gonna see it like how is it gonna go moving forward i, I think it's just knowing that there are those two sides but but they we don't have any like defined direction necessarily yet other than she's reeling from the death right yeah of, she's she's she needs to figure out the direction basically well right because she had at the very least probably been okay with it enough to where you know it'd been like it was years ago like right. it was a she's, long time ago. she's now a semi-functioning human being right well, you know like she was gonna move on and go to the english group uh like she's right. she's fine with going to a completely different setup and everything and kind of rebooting her life maybe mm-hmm. even yeah but but then all of a sudden it gets dredged up and but then get brought up because Hibiki's here. Yeah. If anything, I, I feel like that means then there is still conflict. It's not something that is like, it's not something that's just oh that that doesn't exist anymore. Oh it's, totally. Yeah yeah. Oh okay okay mm-hmm. gotcha yeah. Yeah I I don't I don't see growth as something that has to be um uh binary, like like you know that because someone has grown like or or changed or whatever then then therefore the the roots of what caused the change are you know completely gone or something like that like like that's you know she's in the middle of a of a uh basically being being tortured by circumstance into growing right and now this is a new form of torture that maybe you you know pain maybe is a better word that she's not used to right and so she's gonna have to figure it out hence you know the moment in the shower where she's just like you know isn't you know we don't get any words of her internal thoughts or anything like that but she's just okay this yeah, is yeah. a thing you right know. right it's something that's weighing heavily on her yep but yeah i i feel like the 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 opportunity to explore her characters um points at which she remembers a time with kanade in this yeah episode where she's like oh that, that was really fun and stuff like that those are still memories that she brings up like uh, probably of her own like desire just to think back and remember those times and if she's seeking a solo group and stuff like that but then she's going to fight Mm -hmm. you know hibiki here i I almost feel like it's going to be more the thing of can i pick a partner up again right it's kind of more cliche and it's the uh yes it's like the yeah it's the buddy cop kind of thing Yeah, Yeah, yeah yeah Uh huh. You can't replace them, right? Right. And it's right. like, yeah, of course they, you know, they don't have to replace them, and and it's just, yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's it's something yeah. where that level of feeling and emotion, which I guess makes sense since they're talking this this whole show's about music and stuff, right? You can't have music without feeling, mm-hmm. but like, I I'm just I'm I'm pleasantly surprised, you know, like, yeah. Oh, okay, I gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I, not because I didn't had, think the it show. It just seems wouldn't... you had so much expectations of the show being a specific way that anything that's slightly different just. 
uh, surprises you? Well, I'm like, no, it's um uh uh from 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 the from the vibe that I that I got of like the way I would hear people talk about the show would be about the hype of it, you know, the the AMV, the anime, and all that stuff, and it's like, oh hell yeah, hell yeah, right? Sure, because that's that's mm, here, yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah, because we've got that, we've got that in spades, and and the fact that it's like the the but wait, there's more, like I yeah yeah, like my favorite my favorite experience with anime in general is when it's the it's the all right. Let's have fun with this show, and then I also get mm-hmm. like those those extra extra sprinkles thrown in there that you know that I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, um, other than that, we've got like uh, just a, a fight on our hands that mm-hmm. I, I I can't see them being really okay with though. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the the let's fight is is like a cliffhanger thing, and it's really the I'm gonna test you. You know. Right, but. I, I can't see the uh, Zwywing, Zwywing actually being okay with this. Yeah. I, mm. If there's all this whole thing about secrecy and stuff, being like, okay, we beat them. Now let's fight. Like, I, Yeah, it's uh, like, uh, hold on. Sumasa, you know, whoa. Maybe she needs to be trained, but we have facilities for that. You know, let's, right, exactly. let's go five miles Didn't under the go, school yeah, again. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. And, Didn't we go like like into the earth's crust like a lot you know <laughs> yeah like we went past the gelatin and the strawberries and we're in the other side of the crust you know mm-hmm. like right like yeah <laughs> let's not eat our pie out here in public let's, let's right go back there but yeah all right um i would love to meet some new characters though me too personally yeah. we did get hints for a bunch of the cast with the op the op did hint at that yeah, yeah. i would very much like that because i feel like genjiro and sakurai are kind of mouthpieces at this point and i don't sure. know them really mm-hmm. i'm 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 thinking in some ways that we're, we're missing the kind of some of the things that we got in nge which was misato went to go pick up mm. um uh, shinji shinji yeah. but in this one here we've got a best friend right. instead who's kind of the other uh-huh. character that's been characterized a bit uh right now so yeah. maybe Maybe having someone else other than Subasa involved in this that we can have them interact with, so mm-hmm. they're not just like you know. And maybe that's the whole thing with the relic in the first episode was them like that's where the new character will come from is they'll figure out how to awaken the relic or whatever so that that way someone can like use it and then that'll be like the the third Ava unit that comes in basically, sure. you know. Okay. But. But yeah, yeah. y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next next time. time.